Hello, today I'm going to talk to you about the American Revolution. So let's start off with the Continental Army. The Continental Army was led by George Washington. George Washington was a good leader because he was strong and he was already trained. A disadvantage was that most of the Continental Army were just poor, untrained farmers. Like I said, they were untrained. Another disadvantage was that they barely had any food, water, or even money. On the other side of the battlefield, they had 48,000 soldiers for the British Army and 30,000 German mercenaries to help them out. They also had 270 warships to fight on sea. Their bright red uniforms made it easy for them to see in, in the light so they could get attacked easily. They were strong, trained, and and were smart, and knew how to use their weaponry. They also had strong guns. A disadvantage was that they had to go over 3,000 miles just to go back home, and, three, and it took about three months to get there. We also attacked them many times on the sea. The British fought an offensive war, which meant they tried to take us over, but the Continental Army fought a defensive war, which meant they were defending their country. That meant that we stayed and they came. One day, 2,500 men died just because of cold frostbite, but we didn't give up because we were fighting for our freedom. And we were fighting for our country. But England just fought because it was a job. And they were forced to. One more strategy that the Continental Army used was marksmen. To take them off one by one. We also did surprise attacks. Which was good because we took off the British soldiers when they did not have their weapons or were equipped with anything. England fought in lines, which is bad because multiple people could get shot in the same time. And they had to march in the same place over and over again and then shoot. After we won the Battle of Saratoga, Ben Franklin went to France to convince them to come to our country and help us fight. France agreed, and so did the Spanish attack them too. Also, the Dutch gave us lots of money to buy, to buy food, ammo, weapons, and money. After we won the Battle of Yorktown, Brit the British agreed to sign the peace treaty, which meant that they would give us more land, and they would finally make us an independent country. So we won. Yay. Thank you for watching my RSA anime video, and I hope you have a good day.